what I did for this is digital escape room is first what I did is I made a um, Google slide. Um, you'll see my Google slide. I obviously did it not on this slideshow, on its own slideshow, but you'll notice that on that slideshow, I hyperlinked pictures. So for instance, I hyperlinked this window. And so when you click on the window, you should have opened up a puzzle. And when you clicked on the um, clothes hanger, you should have opened up a jigsaw puzzle that you have to put together to figure out a clue. Oh, okay. And when you clicked on the, um, what, I can't even think of the name of it right now. <laughs> Whatever. Thank you. Um, you got another clue um, here. And if you clicked on the dog, you got a clue for Morse code. Um, and because I knew you guys would get that one. Um, and then if you clicked on the couch. Oh. Why can't I get on the couch? When I click on couch, um, this was a fake clue. So when you got this, it should have been a fake clue because some students might then be like, we may need to count all the triangles or something. So it was just a fake clue to take people off the scent. Um, <laughs> that would make my head explode. <laughs> I'm a there I come with you. I just sit there for an hour. Hey, we're from Maine, Jen. This is one, two, three, four, five, 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 six, seven. So the biggest <laughs> about uh, the Google Slideshow. So we, on our Google Slide presentations this week, we kind of showed you how to make a Bitmoji background. But just so you guys know, these are pictures laid on pictures. And the biggest thing is the ordering. So how you order them, if you bring them to the front or to the back, is how you make your scene. So again, like I can, all these are just pictures on top of pictures, and the background's a picture. But what's really important for this and some people have made Bitmoji backgrounds, they call it a Bitmoji classroom, and they use this um, as their agenda and they have like different clues in it for their assignment. But what's really important is look at my coat hanger right now. My coat hanger overlaps with the caution tape and overlaps with the, this picture up here. And I don't want that because when you click on it, you can click on this whole area. So what's really important is that you put a format image crop image, and I'll do that again, format, image, mm -hmm. crop image, and I crop it to be where I want it to be. And I want it to be really thin. I want people to really have to really look for this clue to be able to know that the coat painter is a clue. And then I, then I just click off that picture. And now the blue shows me the area of that. And I might do that for um, this, but I already have it really thin. I might do it for the dog just so it doesn't overlap. So you want to make sure that the blue around the image is that's where people can click to be able to go to your clue. Um, so what I did then is this is where I did my um, picture. And again, this is what you saw on the um, digital escape room on that Google site to be able to find. And you'll notice that my pictures are really thin to make sure that nothing overlaps. Are there any questions about this part of this advanced Google um, escape room? What's the answer? Okay, so then you can go, the next step is you have to make your Google form. So when I go to my Google form, you'll notice that in this, the only difference between this escape room and the one I showed you earlier is I have everything on one section. Um, so why I did that, because again, this one's not linear, so I didn't care what order you found the clues in. I wanted you guys just to be able to put the clues in at any point. So one of them, the answer was four, five, six, one. Another one was AMS. Um, another one was, um, you had to order the decimals as points, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, whatever. And then there's a three digit one, it was 042. I think that was the one you were on, Elizabeth, um, with that uh, other clue. I said 642, I was off by a number. <laughs> and so then <laughs> you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have been able to get that open. So once they pressed submit, the only time I made another section was here when I said this by was Boris. And then I made a little congratulations page for them. So again, it's everything we learned about today in our last one, but just on one page. So it was the Google Slides. That's where this is where the Google Slides come in. This is where the Google Form comes in. 
Now, how, then, did you, how did yep. you import that from slides to the Google form? How did you import it? Oh, great question. So what I did is um, for this picture, I took this picture and, um, or should I say this picture, and I honestly just deleted this Bitmoji and put in another Bitmoji. And then I went to file, download, and I downloaded it as an image and put it onto my computer. And mm -hmm. then when I went into that Google form, I just added an image from here. Okay, so you plug them into the form itself. Yeah, so it went from the form, download as an image, and then I upload it again. So they're not connected. So I have to download to my computer to then, to then upload here. Okay. Does, that, does that make sense? So like when I upload, I think I even have it in my pictures right. here. I have it right here. So I just uploaded it. Okay. So you, you have to upload piece by piece. You can't take the entire thing as a finished product and import it completely. No, because it's a because it because it's a Google slide presentation, I can't do that. And I want it as an image for um Google Forms, so I just make it into I just change the format into a picture. Okay. Right. Um so then after you have the Google Slides um with the hyperlinks again. There's the pictures, and then you, I, I don't think I went over how to hyperlink. Everyone, I think we talked about this, but this is insert hyperlink. You also can say insert link here. And when I do that, so say I want to make myself hyperlinks, I press it, and just a little thing comes up, and I can put google.com, you know what I mean, whatever I want to put in there to be able to hyperlink to it. Our last step, so we went to Google Slides, and then we did Google Forms. The next thing you need to do is make a Google site. This is just because you want all your clues in one spot on one page for the kids. Um, so when I go in here, I go to sites.google.com slash new. And again, that's in, you also can just Google, uh, Google sites. And I go to blank. And when I do that, you're gonna get like at first you get overwhelmed like how do I make a Google site? And all you do is you can just type right here. And I can put in digital escape room demo, and then all I want is two things: the Google um, the Google Slides, and I want the Google Form. So I just scroll down on this, and I see slides. Here is my picture. I insert, and when you insert, you'll see this little blue thing around it, so I can make it as big or small as I want. And it's honestly just instinctual of how you want to make it. So again, I just went to slides, I picked the image, and I inserted it. Um, after that, I want my Google form, so I go down to forms. I find my digital escape room form. I press the little insert button. And again, I can make it as big as I want. And it's then, here it is. So as you saw, the biggest thing you need to make sure is your Google slide presentation is shared with everyone. Um, that is a public setting or Ainsbury setting. As you saw, I did not do that. Um, and then you just publish this. And I can pick, um, my web app. Oh, I didn't do a, I need to make sure I have a title to this before I publish. And demo, publish. And now I have the URL and everything to go and I can um, share this with people um, how I want. And I can get my little link right here as well. And that's it. So that was the advanced one. And I think you all hopefully didn't find it too hard to do the advanced one. So there's definitely two types. You can do the Google form one where it's linear and they have to get, go to each lock or you can link things. And I mean, as you link things on the Google slides, it could be anything. Like I said, I showed you a jigsaw puzzle. You can send them MCAS questions. You can send them to different Google docs. Um, it's totally up to you and what you want the kids to go to.